Okay, so usually I don't start videos like this until after the video, right? It's usually the bonus clip. But uh, th today, uh, it's been a long day, let me tell you. Uh, I, I bought oil to do an oil change, so I'm getting ready to film me doing an oil change in this video. So that's why I'm starting like this, because I'm going to film a video, or me doing the oil, then do a mono vlog. Today's car show day, nuts, already been down there. Brother's parked down there with his car, nuts. Stone bought a brand new motorcycle. I haven't got to ride it really yet, because, uh, you know, it's his new motorcycle. He wants to ride it. I'll put a clip in here of what it looks like. But anyway, Stone just left. We were hanging out. He was going to help me film this and do an oil change. But uh, we were coming back from Honda, buying our local Honda dealer to buy oil for the bike. And uh, he lost his Camaro keys. They flew out of his backpack. He was going 120, 140. So we did a little loop, but he just left to do the entire loop right now. God, I hope he finds his keys because Camaro keys, the little fob is expensive. His house keys on there. It's insane. Anyway, I gotta go do this oil change before it gets too dark. I'm gonna film it. It's really smoky. We're on fire. You can't even see the mountains. It's so bad. It's it's terrible, terribly bad. All right, I'm gonna go film this. Let's get an oil change done. Okay, so as you can see, I don't know how I can tell. Usually there's mountains back there. There's not. Here's what I bought from Honda. That one, oil filter, and another quart. So, can you believe that these two things were cheaper than this oil filter? Uh, I've got an oil catch can in there. i got to get this little plastic piece off, and uh, we'll get started with this. Okay, I just broke out my tools and my drip tray. So we're going to put that on there because i got gloves in there. And basically what I have to do is, on the other side, great, I just sat down and there's one on the other side. On the other side there's an Allen key holding this belly plate on, and then all right, over here, right here, I don't know what you can see, there's a bolt that I gotta get off. So, uh, then we undo this guy, and we drain it, which sucks, it's so close to the kickstand. But, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, undo those, and uh, see what it looks like with the belly pan. Okay, I'm on the other side of the bike. Here's that Allen key, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that guy out. Oh, you guys fell, I'm sorry. Angle you down a little bit like that. There we go. Perfect. This one? Nope, one smaller. Is it this one? Nailed it. Now, how hot is this? Okay, so it's good enough for the oil to come out. I just got done from a really hard ride, so that's what we want. Now, hopefully these aren't in too tight, and it wasn't. Broke right loose. Perfect. Get this guy off. Boom. Now we put this on the toolbox and we go to the other side. All right, now I gotta figure out what size that is. So we can put these Allen keys back here. Get up in there, perfect. Now, I don't know, where'd my extension go? There she is. Okay, I don't know what size that is. So let's just get out these guys <clears throat> and find out. Let's try this one. I'm gonna have to put it on the extension in order to get to it. Nope, oh, that's too big, and that's, what size was that? That's like a 15? What's this? Let's try that. Oh, I can't tell if that's getting on there or not. Oh, it is. I think that's tightening it though. So we gotta go, we gotta go this way. There we go. Oh, maybe that's tightening it. This is always the shitty part. I don't know. Lefty loosey, righty tighty is kind of a pain in the ass when you're down here. I can't tell. I think that's tightening it. That's got to be tightening it. There's no way that's not tightening it. There it goes. All right. There's our belly pan. Off. I'm gonna leave that bolt in there. Nice truck. He was actually down at the car show. Leave these bolts in there so I know where they go. I hope those are just bleeder valves because I don't know what those are for. Oh my god, has this one ever had a oil change? It still has a Honda oil filter on it. 
Well, now it's time to get to the fun part and drain this motherfucker. And I think this is a 10 mil if I remember right. So, all right. Let's... Okay. So from what the videos I've watched, this is the drain plug. This guy right here. So we're going to go ahead and undo that, get this pan over here, and drain out all this oil. Well, I just put my oil drain pan under here, and as you can see, it doesn't really fit that well. So, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I think it can still drain out, but uh, it's a little bigger than I thought. That's what she said. But let's see how I'll figure it out and get this bitch drained before it gets dark. Like that. Oh gosh. Top heavy. What about that? I don't think you can see anything, but we'll just we'll just have that be like that for now. Okay, that's tighter than that should be. All right, I broke it loose, but as you can see, I just fucking broke my knuckles. I just, the gloves just cut. That hurt like a motherfucker, but it's broke loose. So now we gotta put this catch underneath here. Got her coming out. It was definitely due. I don't want to have this leak on the side, so I'm kind of keeping the bolt here for right now, because if I take this off, I think it's gonna, oh, is it not gonna spew out? Oh, it's not really spewing out, perfect. The plug looks okay. Oh shit, I didn't get any paper towels. Well, oh fuck, I didn't open this drain thing. Oh no, oh gosh, oh no, uh oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh lord, oh god, um. I forgot to open the drain part. I'm gonna have to do that. I gotta get my oil, or my fingers all oily. There it is. All right, it's open. I'm just gonna leave that in there, floating there. So I'm gonna let this drain. I'm gonna go get some paper towels and clean up this bolt, uh, and I'll be back when it's done draining. Okay, I have acquired the paper towels. Uh, as you can see, when I punch the ground, uh, my knuckles are all bloody. Took a chunk. Look, it actually took a chunk out of my pinky. Hey, every mechanic knows that though. Like, that shit's not fun. I'm not a mechanic, but everybody's done it. That shit sucks. So this is just about done dripping. So I should be able to get this oil filter. God, please don't be on there as tight as that drain plug was. Uh, Cause I don't have, I don't have a oil tool. So I'm gonna get that guy off um, and then clean everything up, go put oil in her. She should be done. All right, time for that filter. There, I hope you guys can see that. All right, I'm gonna clean this plug off. Oops, put that trash right there. I need to get that other glove on. I don't have another glove. Okay, great. I'm just gonna put that guy in there. All right, plug. was definitely a little on this plug you can see there's not any metal shavings I'm gonna look in here after I'm done too to see if there's any metal shavings I'm not seeing any which is really good uh, so let's get this plug cleaned off no metal which is perfect this is exactly what we want to see I'm gonna go ahead and go get another glove uh, and I'll be back in a second okay got my other glove now it's time to get this guy off oh god please don't be on there very tight Guess what? It's on there very tight. God dang it. Like, hello? Who did this oil change last? I'm still, I gotta try to get it off by hand because the auto part store, you know, is has a ton of people in it. Just hopefully it's gonna just come loose. Ah. Oh.
Dude, there's no way. This thing is on there so fucking tight. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> Try and scoot closer. It's going to be bad of view for you guys, but I need to get closer. Ow, I just poked my eye on this bike. Oh. There's no fucking way I'm getting that off. I'm going to have to go to the auto parts store, and I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Okay, that was a process. I've required an oil filter wrench. I've never seen one like this, so we're gonna figure out how to use it for the first time together. Okay. Just, I don't wanna hit the paint, none of that. Let's just get this off, huh? Just come right off. Oh, here comes the wind. Fan freaking tastic. I don't even know if I can fit this. This tool is too small. This tool is too small. You are fucking joking me. Holy shit. Dude, what the fuck? Has it even moved an inch? I don't fucking think so. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to go to the car show and buy one. Are you joking me? This is a joke, dude. Okay, I bought the filter. It's right there. I swear to God, if that one doesn't fit, I'm gonna be pissed. I had to park like basically four blocks away to get to that auto parts store. I cannot express how much I hate car show day. I hate car show day. It, this is one of the worst ones that it's been. Holy fucking shit. It took me almost 22 minutes to go to a store two minutes away from my house, park and walk in to buy an oil filter. I wanna die, I wanna die. But I have it, it should fit, let's finish this fucking oil chain. Dude, look how on this motherfucker is. What the fuck, dude? Fuck, dude, this is a joke. <laughs> this is a joke. This is a fucking joke. Look at this. Oh my, dude, this is a joke. This is a joke. This has to be a joke. Somebody's playing a prank on me. Dude, it is breaking the fucking... Oh. oh! That was the hardest I have ever seen an oil filter put on. Don't ever put your oil filters on that hard. Holy shit. That is a fucking joke. That is a joke. I have never seen an oil filter on that hard in my life. Make sure the O-ring comes off with it. I gotta clean this. I gotta, I'm gonna go get some other gloves. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. That was the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. I cannot believe how hard that was on there. I'm gonna go get, yeah, I'm gonna go get gloves. And boom, just like that, we're back on the bike. So, a little, okay, yesterday, I was gonna film a moto vlog yesterday, but you will not believe how unbelievably hectic yesterday was. So we started out, Stone came up here after work because I left my wallet in his backpack. You know, I need my wallet for fucking everything. So I had to get my wallet. And he come up here and it was car show day, but it doesn't really start till five and it was like one o'clock when he, he, was, he got here at like 1.30. So we went down there and chilled with my brother. He parked his blazer down there. Uh, and we just chilled for a little while. So then we, uh, I had to do an oil change. I had already planned on doing an oil change all day. I knew I was gonna do an oil change, I had to get one done. 
So I went to advanced while we were out there. Here's that bike for sale. Oh my God, I need to stop and look how much they want for it. I want to know so bad how much they want for that bike. Uh, uh, anyway, yeah, I was going to advanced while I was there because I had to buy a special oil filter. This, oh my God, they have dirt bikes. They have dirt bikes. Oh my God, I might go get a dirt bike. Uh, just kidding, I don't have money for a dirt bike, but there is a yard sale with dirt bikes, which is badass. Um, I had to get like some fancy K&N oil filter. Cost me like 20 something bucks uh, for a performance oil filter. So I have one of those, uh, which is fine dandy. And we had to go to a Honda dealership because you know, I'm gonna, if I can afford to put Honda brand in this, I'm gonna put Honda in it. Ooh, that is a nice Ducati. I'm gonna put Honda in it. So I went down to our Honda dealership. It's only, I don't know, it's probably like 15 minutes away. Um, ooh, it's a cool uh, Ford. It's like 15 minutes away. I had to, uh, you know, buy it. So I did, it wasn't very expensive. But on the way there, I noticed Stone's lanyard where he keeps his Camaro key and his house key was kind of falling out of a, a like a pocket in his backpack. So when we stopped at a red light, I pushed his keys back into his backpack. You know, being a nice guy, I tried to put his keys back in his backpack. It was all fine and dandy, got everything done that we needed to do at Honda, no problem. We uh, get back to the house and his keys are gone. They're gone. Which, that sucks, dude. That sucks. So we get back to the house, we use my grandma's car so we could communicate with each other and you know, have four sets of eyes on the, on the highway where we thought he lost him. And you'll never believe the fucking blue balls that we got. We were on the highway. I cannot make this shit up. The exact shape of a lanyard, the exact same color, everything. We, we, we seen that, the same color, same shape, everything. So we pulled off, or we had to go around, and that whole time that we had to go around, like, to get back on the highway, we were so fucking excited. Obviously, we were excited because we were like, yo, we found the keys, oh my god, you're not gonna have to pay $500 to get a new key fob, or, you know, you're not gonna have to pay to get a new house key, none of that shit. We get to them, we pull up close, I pull off the side of the highway, we pull up right next to the keys, right next to them. Um, and it's a fucking ratchet strap. There is another motorcycle for sale. It's a fucking ratchet strap. Are you kidding me, dude? What are the odds of the same shape as a lanyard and the same color as his lanyard right and right where he, you know, right, he just bought a fast motorcycle. He's going to want to go fast. That was the part where he hit like 110, 115, you know, just giving her a little bit of, you know, a little bit of juice. You know, you, you got to, you buy something that fast, you're going to. And it's right where we thought he would have lost him because, uh, that's that's where he went fast. Nope, it was a motherfucking lanyard. So he spent like most of y'all yesterday and uh, I spent some of today doing the loop that we did to go see if we could find him and we just can't. And then he Snapchats me and he tells me on his, uh, his sister was out in some like far away, like 200 miles away. On the way back, from where she was at, her fucking car blew up. So now both him and his sister are just out of a car until Stone can afford a key and his sister had to pay for a tow 200 miles away from their house, which is ridiculous. That's just insane. And then after all that, I was, you know, gonna go help Stone look. Uh, I was going to go help him look for his keys, but I had to do an oil change. You know, it was getting dark. I wanted to get the oil change done, You already, which you have already seen, you know, uh, at the beginning of this video. Uh, and as you saw, everything went wrong. The bolts were, the bolt was super tight. I fucking, my knuckles were all fucked up. The fucking oil filter was on there too tight. I had to buy a special oil filter tool. 
like yesterday could like none of yesterday went our way literally none of it so I'm just now having time to kind of come out and film don't you do it don't yeah you stay there I'm just now having time to come out and film a little moto vlog this one isn't gonna be long because it's the middle of the day it's hot I got to go to the gym but I just had to make a video you know filming and updating and I don't think I've mentioned it yet but I get my plates tomorrow finally I still have my expired temp tags on here my plates went bad the uh, 30th of last month and right now it's the 8th and my appointment is for the 9th so one more day and I'll be super legal again which I'm excited for no more having to worry that cops are gonna get me for expired tags even though it's only you know I literally have my appointment screenshotted just in case they try to pull a fast one on me actually I go to that building right there is where I'm gonna have to go to get them tomorrow uh, yeah it was just a hectic all around like I wish I could have just spent all day at the car show but what I went through you know it's way better than paying I think Honda quoted me at like 300 bucks for like an oil change or some shit hell no hell no dude so you know you can look at it like I never got to buy an oil filter wrench again I don't gotta you know I don't gotta do none of that stuff but uh I'm gonna go home and edit this video for you guys so uh, if you enjoyed please leave a like subscribe share with a friend and I will see you in the next one Later. oh yeah and while I'm on the way home another bad thing that happened oh my fuck can I make this shit up I was gonna film my whole oil change of me putting you know oil back into the bike to show that whole process and the GoPro froze the fucking GoPro froze so I'm pissed I was pissed that that on top of just all the shit that happened just pissed me off